my, 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 how things change. Are you okay? I'm fine. What's wrong? I'm just frustrated. It's gonna get worse. I'm not even on. talking about that. No, what are you talking about? Nick? What's going on? Nothing, it's just... It sucks, like I just wanna go home. Why? Because... Because you like him? Talk to me, it's okay. No, it's not though. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. Come on, honey, it's okay. It just sucks, like... I don't like hurting people and I don't want to hurt anyone. So what is it? You like Nick and you're having doubts about your boyfriend? It's just like a crappy situation for me to be in. Sounds like your relationship with Chris is good. As far as you, Nick, I understand how it is when you love somebody and you start developing feelings for somebody else. And somebody's gonna get hurt. And it's your fault no matter what. <laughs> it sucks so bad because like go for over like the last two years, he's the only one who's ever been there for me. And I've never ever felt the way that I feel about him for anybody, ever. Like, I don't want to like do something stupid and just because of the situation that I'm put in. Yeah, I know. The bottom line is, you know, you've known Nick like three weeks and you have a life with your boyfriend. You know, you love him very much and you have a life with him. And obviously you wouldn't be crying if you weren't developing feelings for Nick. You have to do what you think is the right thing for you. But too, you have to remember, what's real here might be, but might not be real outside. You know, Nick has a life outside of here, and so do you. And when you get back to that, things are going to be different. <laughs> life is very hard sometimes. Sometimes the decisions you make in life hurt other people, but you have to do what's right for you. If you, if you need to talk anytime, inside or outside of the house, you can depend on me. I'm always here for you. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. I love you, Danielle. As a parent, I'm so glad that you came to me and talked to me. <sighs> but how is it that I can take any kind of happiness, joy, that my daughter reached out to me, the problem that's killing her? She was like losing it, man. I, I honestly, I think I've only seen her cry like that a couple times in her life. And and you want to have the words that are like magic, that are like the right thing to say. But what do you say? But thank God that you're here and thank God that, you know, she was able to put her issues with you aside for even a wrinkle in time and to come over and say, hey, Dad. I just wish that I could have the answers. Oh my God, are you kidding? Of course you want to just say, it's your kid. You know, when they hurt, you hurt. And her coming to you was her way of saying that she loves you. This is way harder than I ever thought it would be.